This video will customize the grid's behavior using the Group Row API. You'll create a sample application where the grid automatically expands focused group rows on the root level, and users cannot collapse those rows, other root level group rows are collapsed automatically, and the parent or child row data is automatically displayed in the status bar. To learn the basics of identifying and traversing group rows, let's start with an application that has a grid control with grouping already applied. First, let's display the focused row handle in the status bar. Select the grid view and handle its focused row changed event, which is raised when focus moves between rows. The currently focused row is specified by the event's focused row handle parameter. A separate method is used to actually display the information in the status bar. And let's run the application. Since the top group row is now focused, the status bar displays its handle that is equal to minus 1. Focus the following group row and see that its handle is minus 2. As you can see, group row handles are negative integer numbers starting with minus 1. Note that rows are numbered from top to bottom, regardless of their nesting level. Data row handles are non-negative integer numbers starting from 0, then 1, and so on. Now let's modify the grid's functionality so that root level group rows are automatically expanded when they're focused. Add one more method call to the focused row changed event handler. In that method, check whether the focused row is a root group row using the get row level method. For group rows displayed at the top hierarchy level, the method returns zero. After that, expand the focused group row by calling the set row expanded method. Pass the following parameters to this method, the focused row handle, true to expand the group row, and true to additionally expand child group rows at all nesting levels. And let's run the application again. The focused root group row is automatically expanded along with its nested groups. Now let's modify the behavior so that only one root level group row is expanded at a time. Add one more method called to the event handler, collapse first level group rows. The method iterates all group rows by counting down from minus 1 and until the counter reaches an invalid row handle. Non-focused root group rows are collapsed along with their nesting group rows using the set row expanded method with false passed as its second parameter. Now run the application again. When a root group row receives focus, this group is automatically expanded along with its nested groups, while other groups are collapsed. So a single root group is expanded at any time. Note that end users can collapse the focus group row. There's a way to change this behavior too. Let's declare a variable that will store the handle of the root group row that was expanded last. Handle the view's group row expanded event, which is fired after a group row has been expanded. And save the currently expanded root group row using the previously declared variable. After that, Handle the view's group row collapsing event, which is raised when end users attempt to collapse a group row. To prevent the currently expanded root group row from being collapsed, set the event's allow parameter to false. Now run the application to see the result. Now you can't collapse the focused root group row. So one root group row is always expanded. Its nested group rows can have any status. Now return to design time and further modify the focused row changed event handler. Let's display information on the current group when a group row or data row is focused. Let's create the display parent child info function and call it in the event handler. To determine whether the focused row handle refers to a group row, I use the isGroupRow method. The getChildRowCount function returns the number of children for a specific group row. For a focused data row, the status bar should display information on its parent group rows at all levels. Go up the group row hierarchy using the get parent row handle method. At every hierarchical level, read the text displayed within a group row using the get group row display text method. And run the application to see the result. When you focus a group row, the status bar displays the number of its children. If the focused row is a data row, the status bar displays information about parent group rows at all levels.